we'll first see about what exactly ClickView is all about where ClickView stands in the current market standards and the advantage of ClickView over other traditional BI tools which are already available in the market and we'll quickly have a view of the ClickView dashboard right start off about ClickView ClickView itself proclaims this as a business discovery platform which delivers true self-service BI that empowers business users by driving innovative decision making. So we'll see about that, how exactly we can justify if it really gives us innovative decision making skills or the uh, compatibility by this tool. Okay. ClickView can be defined as a reporting tool which gives users a 360 degree view of data aggregated and summary across various measurements and dimensions. So it's not only like we view data only from whatever selections we make in a normal traditional BI tool, we can as well see the data which is not even selected as well. Like. So in all in all it gives us a full view of the data whichever whatever is available in our current data model. Where keep you stands? As per the Gartner report which Gartner provides every year okay, for all the tools available, not only the BI tools, many other tools available in the market. So he plays his term according to, accordingly and he calls it as a magic quadrant. And the magic quadrant for BI and, uh, and BI and analytics platform, you see the quadrant. Okay. When coming to the Gartner quadrant, magic quadrant, the quadrant is being divided like and has been used uh, depending on the two parameters which he defines every time the completeness of the vision right on the x-axis to see how th what the vision of this particular tool is and the ability to execute how flexible the tool is to be executed by any other business user or no, apart from the developer using it. So where ClickView stands is stands in the quadrant of the visionaries and in the leaders quadrant of the visionaries and the leaders so this the highlighted one ClickTech. ClickView is, uh, is a product of ClickTech and it's placed in the quadrant of visionaries and leaders. It has a good vision like what exactly the data is about and you can take you can like perform multiple uh, ad hoc activities as and when required in ClickView. Right? And the data feasibility is 100% like the 360 degree view of data and the, it comes in the <coughs> parameter of ability to execute as we were discussing like it's not only business developers or the ClickView developers can design the graphs or charts it's like normal any other business analyst also can create the charts or graphs with a minimum knowledge okay. and when you see this ClickView stands in the current market standards very near to competing with Oracle, IBM, SAS, Microsoft tools and Tableau is one of the other softwares which is again coming up in the market as in the ClickView. So it, it's, it's a kind of a market leader as of now. Moving on, advantage of ClickView. So consolidates learn data from multiple sources into a single application. Yeah, it's like many other BI tools as well do it in the market. But there is some difference between ClickView and other tools. So how exactly we can define the differences? when you connect a couple of data sources in other BI tools you can just retrieve data from each and every different data source at one particular point of time but it's not the case with ClickView you can pull all of the data which are connecting to multiple data sources at one go which is just click of one button so you need not select your data source and get the or pull the data from the data source each and every time enabling decision making through secure real time collaboration like any other BI tool like you, you can have the web view of it and the security part is also very good in ClickView. Visualizing data with engaging state of the art graphics, the graphics, the visualization of the data used in ClickView is very much higher than when compared to other BI tools available in the market. We will see when we get into the dashboard how exactly we can justify this. And searching across all data, as we were discussing about, it gives us a 360 degree view of data, both summarized and aggregated. And not only summarized and aggregated, we can see associated and unassociated. Associated data, the data which is available in the chart by performing some selections, is the associated data. And the data which is not available in the chart, 
which is given by the other parameters or the other measures, it has to be selected. But we can see the same data which are not associated as well. Let's see that when we get into the dashboard and changing analysis on the fly. You can change or toggle between measures at any given point of time with just the click of a button. Traditional BI tool, traditional BI tools versus the click view. As we are saying click view is a business discovery. Let's justify that. When you just look into this graph or the chart, it gives us the difference between how exactly the navigation path is provided with the traditional BI tools versus the business discovery, which is nothing but the click view. Normally in traditional BI tool, what happens when we have four different dimensions, right? Region, state, product, and salesperson, as you see in the chart or the diagram. So we have to select one one particular value from each and every dimension so as to see a data data for that particular combination in the chart or graph. So we have to select region, state, then the products available in that state and the salesperson who are selling those products. This is a path which we follow in traditional tools. But in a business discovery like ClickView tool, it is totally different. You can select region, then you, you can select directly the products irrespective of in which states they have been sold. So when you select all the products in that region, all the associated states wherever these products have been sold will be highlighted. And not only that, you can like go here or directly go with the region and you can see all the salesperson information who are all like making sales in that particular region irrespective of the product or the state where exactly they are. And you can like from selection of the region and salesperson you can directly see which state particular salesperson is having his sales in. And you can come back again what products he is selling in that particular state or the region. So you can like it's the way the, our mind works, you can select between any combination like from anywhere. It's, it doesn't restrict the user to follow a traditional BI path. And the technology, TP uses an in-memory data model which is again very unique and these are the next generation tools kind of next generation technology which we, uh, which is termed as of now wherein when you load data from multiple data sources normally in a traditional BI tool what happens is the data comes and sits onto your hard drive onto your local or if you're working on a server in a real time scenario it, go, it loads onto a server from different data sources onto a click view server not, not a click view onto a different BI tool server and whenever you query for the data in the chart or in the dashboard, that query is being sent to the RAM. It goes it goes into the logical drive where your data is stored and pulls it back into the RAM, performs the calculation, and sends it back to the dashboard to view the data. But ClickView, whenever you open the ClickView application, all the data associated with the ClickView dashboard will be pushed everything into the RAM. It's not like it has stores something on the hardware, it stores, but at the real time it pushes everything into the RAM. So when you query for something on, on the dashboard, or change your analysis on the dashboard, it just hits the RAM and whatever the data is available in the RAM, it will just process the data and gets it back to the TQ dashboard. So eliminating the use of the getting the data from the hard drives. Okay. So this is why TQ is very famous and the optimization and the faster retrieval is very much higher in ClickView when compared to other traditional BI tools. And the adoption path which we are just seen in the previous chart, like the traditional BI tools offer apply top-down approach right to the entire company. You build the dashboards for the entire company and from there on you publish them according to the entity wise to all the different departments of the organization. So but when comparing ClickView, ClickView takes a bottom-up adoption path, right? Business users in a single department adopt it and its use spreads out from there. It's like irrespective of the department you are in, you need not like create the application for the whole organization and then split the application as per the entity wise. Wherein you can what you can do is like you can just create the dashboards for that particular department wherein you require the data to be visualized. And once all the departments come up with the data visualizations or the dashboards, you can integrate them into one. That's why we say business users in a single de department can adopt it and its use spreads out from there. Okay, That was all about ClickView and the advantage of ClickView. We'll just quickly move on to the ClickView dashboard wherein we see different types of objects and charts. This is a sample dashboard screenshot which we have on our screen here. 
So we'll quickly look into what exactly the different types of charts and other different types of visualizations Clip View provides. Okay. This is a sample chart, sample dashboard which was created for one of the clients, the High Cloud Airlines. This, uh, this particular client a small interop for this client. This client is a European client and he wants to extend his business into the American airline industry. So he has gathered some information for three years, 2009, 10 and 11, which you see over here, and he has provided it to the to us like to make a like uh to charts and graphs depending on a couple of KPIs he has provided us so that depending on these KPIs if everything goes well and everything is as per their expectations they want to penetrate into the airline industry in the US regions. Okay, let's get into the color coding of Clip View. It's not like the color coding of the charts or the graphs is the color coding of the Clip View selections. I select the data for 2009. When you see this, the data on this particular chart is for all the aggregated data for 2009, 10 and 11 at the highest level. When you select 2009, you see the 2010 and 11 over here are grayed out. It means these are not associated now. The, all the associated data for 2009 is clock quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter four. It means that there is data available for all the four quarters of 2009. So when I just select on this quarter one, you see the difference over here. There is data for Jan, Feb, and March because Jan, Feb, and March are associated with quarter one, and the, all the months April to December are unassociated because we haven't selected quarter two, quarter three, quarter four, right? So as and when you perform selections, you see all the data in the charts or graphs change accordingly. And it hardly takes seconds to change, not even second, fraction of a second to change the data on the charts because the data is being now retrieved from the RAM, not it gets, and either, rather it gets into the logical drive, we'll sort the data from there. And you see, there's a couple of options which Clip View provides, which is very cool. You can select multi, multiple options at one time when traditional BI tools doesn't offer that flexibility. I can select quarter one, two, three and you see all the associated data for quarter one, two, three is from Jan to September and December which we are not selected, so quarter four which we are not selected is now in the grayed out. Okay. So that these are the different types of charts available in GPU, meter gauge, the text boxes which gives us very good information of what exactly their sales or the revenues are of the company and the revenues available seat miles these are because of the, because it's an airline industry we have different types of KPIs for that industry and load factor percentage is one KPI which gives us a meter gauge and it gives us a bird's eye information if you're getting into a financial industry or a banking industry they want to see or a sales in the sales industry, okay. They want to see what is the sales and what is the profits in the last year. So you can have different KPIs depending on and it will give the higher management a bird's eye information. The different types of charts available are a pie chart which we can see over here and all the meter gauges which we see on the dashboard tab. And analysis, when we get into the analysis, see the beauty of this tool now. This is the number of flights which have been flown in the year between source and the destination cities, right, in the years 2009, 10 and 11. At every point of time, user wants to do a drill down of what exactly they can get the more out of this particular information, right. I select just 2009, doing a drill down. It's very simple. You can just select the area wherein you want to drill down. Now you see the chart or the graph turns into, it uh, gives us the detailed information monthly wise January to December okay now you see when we selected 2009 that selection has been performed here and it is displaying in green any selections made in all the dimension boxes or the list boxes to our left on the top will be highlighted in green and you see you can always see the current selections which are made in the particular dashboard you can see on your right the year is what we have selected we we'll just select quarter one let's see if the data changes over here on the fly quarter and quarter two. Yeah. You can see only Jan to June has been selected because our selection was only made for quarter and quarter two. As and we do make selections, all the associated data in these charts will change over. You can see I select just Jan, Feb and March. You can see the change in the chart here, chart data here. Okay. 
I can clear out whatever the selection which are not required here by just clicking on this small eraser icon and it will be back and if you think you have missed out on some selection and you moved forward and you want to see what selection you have made in the past you can use, always use this action buttons you can see the back again gives me what I had performed the last clip again back okay. and as is a flexible very flexible tool you can select on the chart okay <coughs> and changing see the visualization of the data is much more higher when you see here we have data for quarter and quarter two and all of a sudden I want to see this analysis only for quarter three and quarter four what I can do is I can just click on this small icon here I can select quarter three quarter four or else I can do right click and I can select exclude it now you see our analysis changes from quarter one quarter two to quarter three and quarter four okay right so you always have the accessibility of the 360 degree view of data here right you can change your analysis on the fly how exactly you can justify that because this is number of flights is one KPI which we are using here and I want to see the same set of combination of data for a different measure all together you just see the small icon over here the circular icon when you just click on this number of implant passengers this is one of the other measures this gives us the flexibility to view data for this particular combination made on the particular in this particular dashboard right so you can just change your analysis on the fly okay. and all of a sudden the client comes up and he says I want to see the same data not only in a line chart I want to see it in a bar chart how you can do that we can perform it using everything every other property is a, like almost all the properties are available in this properties of this particular objects or the charts where you can have multiple options to be selected from you can see I select bar and line chart now a small icon has appeared over here by the fast change icon right just click on this and it will turn your line chart into a bar chart on the fly you need not worry about what selections you are making you can just change your analysis you can see the state of the art graphics is highly defined and the color coding for all these line and bar charts you can man customize them as per the client's requirements so you have a scatter chart over here in the bottom so it is giving us the information about the top six or seven airliners right and getting on to the reports tab you see we have a straight table and we have a pivot table you see and one more thing I just forgot to show you here it's not only one line or graph chart which we have here we have other charts as well see the, the ease of use of clip view is so like extensible like it's way beyond expectations at time because you save a lot of space here we have three different types of charts now it's a combo chart chart of line and a bar chart and this is a straight table and this is a traffic per year this is a line chart and which we can convert into a bar chart as well all these three are in one container now see saving space over here onto the dashboard right so which no other BI tools offers you this flexibility like having all the three charts in your container and you can like just toggle between the charts whichever you want to in normal traditional BA tools what happens is you have to create chart for each and every and, and it occupies space on your dashboard for each and every chart so we can minimize that you can using this particular tool when getting into the reports area okay you look like we have already occupied this particular chart this pivot table onto this dashboard here and I want another chart to be displayed here I just click on this KPI pivot line you see the, mo the moment I click on that the available chart on the dashboard area is minimized right and the one which is which I have clicked over it has maximized here you can just toggle them play around with them you can have, you can have n number of charts which can be minimized onto the dashboard and can be viewed with the just of a click of a button right so all the selections made will be applied to all the charts and the graphs available in this dashboard it's not only straight table in the pivot table we have we have different types of charts apart from scatter chart a line chart a combo chart or a bar chart right 
and we have pie chart, we have text boxes which gives us beautiful information and you have meter gauges and you have other charts as well in clip view. A radar chart, and a micro chart, a block chart and this is a demographic chart <coughs> which gives us the information demographics wise. Let's select 2009 here. See it gives us the information for 2009 and all the data in all the other charts will turn the selections as per the selections made. And other representations, it's not only these charts, we have more and more charts. Right? You see here, this is a straight table which we have seen in our reports tab over here, right? This this is just a straight table which gives us information at the granular level. And the same inf the same table has been used over here. It's not only it shows the data in the ta in the columns or right in the straight table, as well as we can have the flexibility to embed the charts as well in the columns of the particular straight table. So it gives us a very nice and good information. You can see the traffic lights over here where exactly this particular value stands, this particular airline stands, the aircraft type, helicopter, it's not performing well, the load factor, you see this KPI and the all other things are performing well. You can always change your analysis here as well. You can set your numbers, how you want to display your lights or how you want to see if they're performing well in the current market standards or not. <coughs> we have a mini chart as well which is embedded into this trade table. And coming to the meter gauges, we have different types of meter gauges. There, there are always different types of gauges or different types of charts which gives you flexibility to select over from a very varied range or a variety of two uh, charts or objects available in click view. Right. And <coughs> I select one combination. Uh, this is my selection which I am making over here. I name this as top five carriers, right? So I want to send this particular dashboard to my higher management saying that this is the analysis of, of the top five dash top five carriers which are available in the market and they are having a majority of the share in the market right see the market share as well this is also turned and they have transported passengers million in millions one thousand million right. now I want to send this particular combination to my higher management saying this is the area where we can see the information about all the top five carriers available in the market. So instead of like guiding them or writing down the steps in a piece of mail and then sending them across and wherein they have to open this dashboard and select the particular combination which we have mentioned, instead of that we can always have the flexibility of adding the bookmarks. What I say is top 10, okay, it's the top five airlines. Just click on OK and a bookmark is added. So I clear all my selections and the higher manager opens this dashboard from the server and you can just directly click on this bookmark selected and you can see the data associated whatever I was trying to convey to my higher management with just click of one bookmark click of a button on the bookmark you can see the same analysis what I was trying to explain him and major carriers over to over Atlantic in 2009 so this was another bookmark which I have created <coughs> okay, and the associative data model, why we are talking about the heart of Liquio is a script editor wherein you get or load data from multiple data sources, right? So this particular data I am loading from a QED file which is Liquio optimized file and there are other types of loads I have done from you see over here CSV file, you can always perform loads from different types of files. It's okay. Once I create all the mappings between the source and the target tables, right, into ClickView to be pulled the data into ClickView, I have MS Access connection as well over here. Okay. So when I just click on this reload button over here, available over here, it pulls data not only from one data source, but whatever all the <coughs> data sources available on this particular editor, it will perform like multiple triggers at the same time. When we click on reload, it will connect to different data sources which have been defined on this script editor and it pulls the data from those data sources in one go. 
So that is why we call it as an associative data model. And we always have the flexibility to the to view the data model, how exactly it is being defined in click view. <coughs> and there's a fact table and it is associated with these dimension tables. This is how we can see the data model of the click view. <coughs> and at times if you want to see the sample data available or loaded into each and every table, you can always right click on this particular table and view the data. It gives you the first thousand records available in this dashboard in this particular table. <clears throat> it's not only about these things, the search option is very flexible in ClickView. So if you want to select for something like uh, a carrier name which is uh, Singapore Airlines, I can just directly click on this and I can just type in. So all the selected, uh, all the associated values in this particular list box or the dimension will be highlighted over here in the dashboard. So if I think like I want some other selections, like it's not only this particular list box or the dimension I want to select from, I want to see where Singapore is being used and where all it is available in the total data model across all tables available in the liquid data model, right? You this, uh, see the search option which is very unique, which is not available so far in any of the BI tools available in the market. I click on seeing, now you see, this is giving me a clear view of where exactly all the values have been used in all the data model. So Singapore Airlines is being like reflecting in the airlines dimension and it's being uh, reflected in the carrier name dimension, destination city, destination country. So these are all the dimensions where all this particular value can be retrieved from or, or else is being used. In. So it's not like, it's not like only these things, there are many other things in ClickView you can perform. You can change your colors, you can change the styles of your dashboards, you can change your size, and you can perform multiple operations on ClickView with the functions. All the joints, SQL joints, which are available in SQL can be performed in ClickView to pull out data only depending on the joint in, from the SQL data sources. Not only SQL data sources, any other data sources. Right? So, this was all about ClickView <coughs> and drill up, drill down we have seen, changing analysis on the fly we have seen, viewing the 360 degree view of data we have seen. So whatever we have the advantages of ClickView, we have justified them over in this dashboard. And different types of charts, the flexibility to switch between charts. as per your selections made. Drill up or else you can change your analysis. Right. <coughs> you can always have your company logo. If you think like these are the default dimension color okay for this particular list box over here, you can change even them as per the company color. If the client comes and says I want to see everything on this dashboard in red color, you can change them. And you see, whenever I toggle between my sheets over here, all my boxes onto my left, onto my right, and on the top frame are intact. Only the the graphs or the charts in the middle of the dashboard are being changed. You can see that. You can retain the pixel perfect pixel perfect alignment of these list boxes on each and every chart or graph, or on a, on every sheet in the dashboard. So this was all about ClickView. So when we get into the ClickView sessions, designer classes, so we'll see about all the different types of objects, objects and charts available in ClickView. <coughs> it's not like very complicated. We have little bit of scripting as well, which any person who has minimum knowledge of the database, right? can perform scripting and you can easily identify and you can easily do scripting on this clip view. Okay. Not only apart from this, we have different types of data modeling techniques we can use to optimize clip view, right? The way it uh, performs optimizations like pulling the data for, for, for the particular combination made in the chart or graph, you can optimize that, you can reduce the time, the way it, uh, 
at the time like when it is deleting the data from the data sources you can either trigger or schedule your charts whenever you want to get the data loaded from the data sources you need not do it you need not do or perform it manually at every time you want it you can even schedule it in a real time scenario you have to schedule them right and you can publish them across the server so that all the users can have access to this particular clip view dashboard can view them okay and during the due course of this course will provide you with all the uh, sample data so that you can start or build your charts from scratch okay so you need not worry about where you can get the data from and what are all the available or the charts or graphs which are available in the dashboard will be covered as part of the course we'll provide you with the designer guide and we'll provide you with the reference guide and not only about these guides any other guide for the uh, as per the students requirements and if they are available with us we'll, we are happy to provide them to the students in the due course of the session okay, that was all about clickview so if you have guys any doubts you can just ask me Unmuted. Muted. Guys, any questions? Yes, yeah, sure. 